Hello friends and subscribers, this is Prepper Princess. This is going to be a video about a super cheap dinner. Um, this one's gonna cost about 50 cents and I'll break down the prices and I'll show you the receipt because nobody ever believes me. Um, what we're doing is a fast food dinner, um, which is a hot dog and fries out of a potato, okay? So potatoes, you know, they cost about five, 10 cents each. And here's what I got. I got hot dog, um, hot dog, uh, what are they, buns for $2.79. And then I got the hot dogs for 89 cents. Um, I got, I got some chocolate, leave me alone. Um, and I got the vegetable oil, but that's something that I keep on hand anyway. And what I've got here, right here, is a fryer, it's heating up right now. I'll just, uh, and then in order to make the french fries, okay, I've got this little thing. So what it does is I lift this up, I put the potato in, I squeeze it out, and then it comes pushing out. I'll see if I can get this while I'm doing it. Oh. Okay, well, got it. Hold on a sec. Let me put this back into the holder. I did finally break down and order a tripod, so pretty soon there won't be all this going on. Pretty soon. Oh, and here's something interesting. So, I told you guys I've been having car problems, right? So I took my car in, and apparently it's the brakes, but uh, it's under somewhat of a warranty. So, the shop gave me a car. A big old silver Chevy Suburban, and I'm used to my little tiny Toyota Camry, and a Chevy Suburban is worth like sixty thousand, a, a lot of money, uh, a lot of money. So they were like, "Do you want extra insurance?" I was like, "Yes, I don't care what it costs me." They didn't have anything smaller. They um, said, "Well, you can wait till the next person comes in and drops off their car, and if it's a small one, you can have that." And I asked them, "You know, how long is that going to take?" They said they didn't know. And I really, really need a car to take Simba to the vet tomorrow. Her urinary tract infection, she's now had her third round of um, antibiotics and it's not working. So they have to do some testing for other stuff. That is turning into a $3,500 urinary tract infection, but she has underlying Cushing's disease. So they have to treat the Cushing's before they can treat the urinary tract infection. So, if you guys can see the potatoes, I'm going to throw them into the fryer basket. And if you guys don't have a fryer, these are kind of fun, um, if you use them all the time. So, and I reuse the oil from the fryer. So it won't go to waste, and it'll be used for multiple things. That's going to take a couple of minutes. I went ahead and buttered my buns, yes. Buttering the buns makes it feel more loving. Looks perfect. Buttered buns. And what I've got here is leek from my garden, some sweet relish, ketchup, and mustard. I get this all stuff, you know, for free whenever Molly goes out, I'll ask her to pick something up. And I wanted to tell you guys about my trade at work with Amber Rose. So I traded her a dozen eggs and she gave me uh, bacon. This one is 0 0.65 pounds. This one's 0 0.75 pounds. So it's 1.3, 1.4 pounds for a dozen eggs. So that was a really good trade. And this is real bacon. This isn't like store-bought bacon. This is where she raised a pig, had it slaughtered, and this was the result. She got something like a, she was saying 170 pounds off of that pig. So I've got quite a bit of bacon and it does taste, it's a little bit thicker than the store-bought bacon. So it's just uh, really interesting. So while I've got the potatoes going, I'm going to show you guys how to make um, your hot dog look a little bit fancier than usual. And this is something I learned, you know, one of those carts at a fair. Um, so we're going to take the hot dog, simple hot dog, and we're going to split it in half this way, vertically. And it just makes it look a little bit fancier. I know it's silly. Okay, so you've got two pieces, right? And then you're gonna put them back to back like this 
on your hot dog bun. Ah, it's hot. On your buttered bun, because when it's buttered, it just tastes better for some reason. Okay, so we've got it like this, and it looks bigger than it really is. So I'm going to add my, my leek from my garden. Looks really good. I'm going to add my ketchup, mustard, and relish out of the pack. Mustard doesn't want to come out. Relish is my favorite. It's one of those either you love it or you hate it type things. I love it. Okay, I'm going to check on the fries. Another minute or two. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. I'm sure you can. That's what it sounds like when you get air or water in it. Take a look at that hot dog. Pretty amazing, right? It's all about presentation, folks. This meal is super fast. Five minutes and you're done. I mean, I'm doing it, I don't, what's the time? Seven minutes? Five, ten minutes, I guess? Okay. Fries are done. Right out of the fryer, just like, and if you want to make them taste like McDonald's fries, the closest you can get is Wesson vegetable oil. Not canola oil, not corn oil, vegetable oil, Wesson brand. A little bit of salt. Okay, and you just made yourself a kind of kick-ass, uh, sort of um, fast food for about 50 cents when I don't really think you can get away with fast food for less than like, I don't know, seven or eight bucks nowadays. So it's really good. Um, I'm going to go and enjoy this. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out.